All right, so we are in the middle of one of the biggest hatches to hit the eastern U.S., and that is the cicada hatch. These bugs live underground for 17 years. So every 17 years, they hatch and emerge, and insects take over the world, and pretty much everything that swims will eat them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chase the cicada hatch because it's a pretty big deal, and see if I can't get on some warm water species. Welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today's video, I'm uh, chasing the Brood X Cicada Hatch with Greg M, who's right over there. We're both drifting aimlessly. And we have been at it today for, we did a 10 mile float. And I think we saw like three carp in 10 miles. Now, I mean, the river's muddy, the, the clarity's just not there. And um, yeah, it's, it was just tough. We drift, uh, floated 10 miles, didn't catch much. Then we went to, uh, we're at Greg's secret honey hole now, and there's carp everywhere. So we're gonna see what we can do here. And hopefully it's better than the 10 mile float that we didn't catch anything at. Oh, I see one. Way on the bank. I see one. Close. Swim in the other direction. No, it didn't spook, but it was going down. You recording? <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm going to sit down so we're going for a ride. Oh, yeah. This is going to be tough. Well guys, hooked my first one, and it's not gonna be good. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna try here in a second. This is... This is impossible. Sheesh. Uh-oh. This is impossible. <laughs> There we go. Whew. 
Woo. That was the hardest thing I've ever done. I think I have it now. It's not a terrible one. I think this is bigger than the other ones that I missed. That was the biggest crap show I've ever been <laughs> I've never been a part of right there for a second. Oh man. Yeah, he's done. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's a common. Oh, it's not terrible. Watch that rod. Oh. There we go. Yeah. First carp on the fly. Somehow hooked him on the outside of the mouth. I'm not gonna question it because this took way too long to do. But yeah, that's awesome. Woo -woo. Cicada Brood X finally pays off. Congrats. That was a ungraceful release, but that works. All right, so there we go. First carp on the fly. First carp, no, I've caught carp before. First carp on the fly though, on a cicada pattern. I missed like, you guys saw me miss like three or four and then I finally caught one. And I wasn't recording when it hit, but I recorded for the rest of the fight, which was just a complete and utter crap show. As most fights with big fish are on a kayak. He wasn't a giant, but I'm just happy to finally catch one. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. It's a little bit different than what I'm normally, uh, normally posting, but I had to get out here and try to catch some fish on a cicada pattern in the brood x the famous covered all over every news channel on earth brood x cicada so let's keep fishing we're gonna drift that again and see if we can't hook up on another one maybe greg will catch one There you go guys hooked up again dude i got that in slow motion too when you think he's about ready let me know all right sounds good all right let's go help him get this fish real quick guys Dude, these things fight so hard, it's crazy. <laughs> this is like uh, this is like dry fly fishing for trout, but on steroids. <laughs> They're so big, dude, and they fight so hard. <laughs> Golly, dude, that's a big one. Yep. That's a real big one. Here, let's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, you wanna, let's scoot back a little bit and get towards the center. The trophy. Dude, look at the tail on that thing. Yeah, he's got like a red tip on his tail. That's kinda cool. Yeah, it's really yellow, red tip. Yeah, it's a good sized fish. Yeah, it's a real nice fish. Man. Look at the cicada in his mouth. It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> it's a nice fish though, man. The best part is everybody was recording. First one of the day with everybody recording. It's very graceful, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't really do any better. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, so we floated down one more time. I think the entire way, or the entire float down, which is, how far is that float? I don't know, maybe a quarter mile, just this pool. Yeah, it's not, it's not too long, but the first time we floated it, we saw like, uh, who knows how many fish. Floated again, caught one, floated it. Well, not the entire thing, caught one, restarted the float, caught another one, restarted. And then I floated the entire thing and I think I saw like three carp total, which isn't that great. And it's getting late. It's 7.20 something. So we decided to call it. Um, the fishing has just been kind of subpar. We've kind of been grinding, yeah, at least tough. according to Greg, because- It was, uh, yeah, the water was stained. 
uh, just like less than, I don't know, 18 inch of build, 18 inches of visibility max. Yeah. So, I don't know. If I would have known it been, been, would have been like this, should have should have hit the lake. Yeah. But it hasn't rained for like four days, so yeah. it's just muddy. And I went musky fishing yesterday. Didn't catch anything, so it's not gonna be a video, but. Uh, and the, the, all the rivers were muddy too yesterday and it hasn't rained in like four days so I don't know what that's about or why that's even happening right now but it is and it's something we have to deal with and for that reason the cicada bite was a little bit tougher than it should have been but I still caught my first carp on the fly so I'm happy with that I think we're gonna call it because it's late and I have to drive like four hours home because chasing the cicada hatch was not like a super close drive for me but I did it had fun and everybody go check out Greg's channel. Yo. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description below. I'll have some uh, some good days of. He'll he'll days. if you want to see like actual legit <laughs> cicada brood X like action with the with the carp and stuff. He'll have a lot more stuff than I will because he's been catching fish like crazy. So. Yeah, I hit it on some good days. <laughs> yeah, a couple. When the, just, wa when the water is actually clear. Yeah, just one or two. So anyway, go check out his channel. Check out his carp video if you're interested. And uh, yeah. Catch you on the next catch you on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.